why narcissistic women end up dissatisfied and alone. The divorce rate is around 50%, but maybe the other 50% just hasn't been divorced yet. The average duration of a marriage is seven to eight years. But the first high risk period is the initial two years of the marriage, known as the honeymoon period. The Philippines and the Vatican are the only two countries where divorce is illegal. 30 is the average age for couples that get divorced for the first time. The average time to remarry after divorce is three years. One in three divorces starts with online affairs. According to a report, a husband and wife in Italy became the oldest married couple. Divorce rates around the world included them with their 77 years of marriage. However, the couple divorced after the 99-year-old husband learned that his 96-year-old wife had an affair in the 1940s. Increasing numbers of women are choosing to be single. 71% of older women say that they aren't looking to date right now, compared with 42% of men aged 40 and older. Narcissistic women end up dissatisfied and alone. And sadly, judging by the statistics, this could even be said about most women. So if you are a man who is looking to date, you need to be very careful. Because there is a high chance that the woman you meet will end up discarding you. Statistics show that one in three divorces starts with online affairs, and that doesn't include unmarried couples, where there is probably a greater risk. Because there is generally less investment, there is less at stake. 39% of relationships start online, which may be a contributing factor to the high divorce rate because there's no way for you to test and examine them to see who they are. Narcissistic women are playing a role. They've molded themselves into an image of what they think you want to see. And it's often based on some wannabe persona. They're pretending to be someone different in order to trick and attract you. They're assuming a false identity and personality on the internet, and often in person as well. Which is not going to be good for you. But divorce and people struggling to find healthy relationships is actually very good for businesses because it creates a problem which gives businesses an opportunity to provide you with a solution but the solution is never as cut and dried as you might like it to be because they don't really care about the results you may think that you've met a good woman you may think that you've met the woman of your dreams because you don't know what is going on behind the scenes. But I've seen it with my own eyes. 
I've seen women's Tinder accounts and they are thousands of likes and messages. So you have little power and importance to make something happen and to make it last. Because they have unlimited options. And it may cause you to worry. Because you're a good guy. You have a good job. You have it together. But you're still not finding anything. You're not being recognized by women. Because everything is set up in their favor. You don't have a chance. Even if you do message a woman online, it's just going to get lost in the sea of other men she has messaging her. She may not even see it. So it's not going to have the impact that you may expect it to have. Because there's millions of men who are in the same position. And women are overwhelmed with all of the attention. And many of them aren't even interested in dating anyone. Many of them are already in relationships even while they're on dating apps. So they're just using you for attention. They're not even taking it seriously. It's just a game to them. Because a lot of these men are just looking for sex. They're just looking to use women for their own needs. And narcissistic women are onto this. And they're using it to their advantage. They're using it to deal with men in a skillful and dishonest way. Because they have so many of them competing for their attention. And they don't have to do anything. So they don't really care about them. They don't value them. Because they have thousands of likes and messages. So it doesn't matter how good of a man you are. What difference does it make if they can't see it? You're just another number. So any effort you put into these women is just going to be a waste of your time because you're competing against guys who will do anything for these women. Guys who will give up all of their time. Guys who will spend their last penny. Guys who know how to get these women's attention. Guys who display the image of a decent guy. They're going to put you out of the game. Because these guys are professionals at this. They have nothing better to do with their lives. So you're not going to outdo them because they have nothing else to do with their time. They can invest all of their time into indulging in a series of sexual relationships without committing themselves to anyone. While you're at work or at the gym, while you're focusing on improving yourself and making your life better. So these women won't even see you. They won't even know that you exist. Because these other guys who have nothing better to do are dominating all of their attention. Which is why they're not acknowledging you. They're not giving you any attention. They're not responding to you. Because it's all a game. It only works for people who are narcissistic. People who are only in it for themselves. People who are driven to get their needs met at all costs. Rather than people who are actually looking to build something with another person. Which is why the divorce rate is so high. Which is why narcissistic women end up dissatisfied and alone. Because they were only looking for situations that suited their needs which resulted in them engaging in behavior 
that was intended to deceive men. It resulted in false connections because they were pretended to be something they're not. Narcissistic women are playing a the game. They're not really serious about anything. They know that most of these men's in their DMs are just looking for sex, but they're still on there. They're still taking pictures in provocative clothing and seductive poses. So if they saw it as a problem, they probably wouldn't engage in those online activities anymore. They would find a genuine way to connect with people. But they don't do that. They choose to remain on there. They choose to engage with guys who are only looking for sex. Because they enjoy the attention. So you're competing with the lowest of the low. You're competing with guys who are the most immoral and socially inferior of all. Guys who have no moral standards or personal qualities. Guys from the lowest social class. Because these are the types of guys who are pursuing these women. So even if you do manage to establish a connection, they're just going to put you in the box of those other guys. Because they've already had so many interactions, they've been around the block too many times. They have a lot of experience. So it's going to be very difficult for you to excite or surprise them. They're not going to see you as someone special or unique, even though that may be the case. Because anything you say, they've already heard it a thousand times. Anything you do, it's already been done by these master manipulators. They got there before you. So there's nothing you can say or do to stand out from the crowd. You're just a needle in a haystack. So nothing you do is going to influence them. Nothing you do is going to have an effect. You will feel invisible. You will feel like they don't notice you. Because they've put you all in the same boat. They've assumed that you're all the same. You're all identical in kind. Based on the small fraction of guys that they have dealt with. Which are reprobates. Guys who lack quality and character. Guys who are thirsty for sex. So they never find the men that they are looking for because they're getting the lowest of the low. So they assume that all men are the same. Because the good men aren't trying to compete for their attention. They have more important things going on in their lives. They have better things to do. But narcissistic women want you to fight for their attention. They want you to chase them. And the only men who are going to do that are men who are needy and desperate. Men who don't have anything else going on in their lives. Men who don't have other options. Which are the types of men that they end up with. And then they assume that all men are that way. They assume that all men just want to have sex with them. And they enjoy the attention. They feel like they're the best thing since sliced bread. So it enables them to maintain their false image. Which means that you are going to meet a lot of fake people. A lot of narcissistic women. Who are being whatever they think people want to see. Which is why a lot of them are having Botox and plastic surgery. So a lot of what you're seeing isn't even real. You don't know who you're dealing with. It's just a fantasy. And when you want out or you try to build something real, 
they're not going to want anything to do with you because they need the attention. So if they have the choice, they're going to settle for all of their likes and messages than to settle with you. They will discard a perfectly good relationship just for some attention. So of course, most women are ending up dissatisfied and alone because they're not taking men seriously. It's all a game to them. But not all women are like this. There are good women out there, but they're like a needle in a haystack. You're going to find women who have already engaged with desperate, thirsty men. Women who have already been around the block. Women who have had a lot of experience and know how to play the game. And there's nothing you can tell those women. They're not going to treat you any different. They've heard it all before, so they're going to treat you the same. They're only going to stick with you if they can get what they want from you. And if they can't get what they want, they're going to find someone else. You're competing with master manipulators. You're competing with desperate, thirsty men. You're competing with the lowest of the low. So they just put you in the same boat as the rest. They assume you're all the same because they've had plenty of experience with those types of men. So they expect you to be the same as everyone else. And if you're not going to be what they want, they're not bothered. They don't care because they've got hundreds of other men under their control waiting for their command. But these men aren't getting anything out of it. They're giving away their money and attention for free. Which is why there's more sexually perverted men. There's more men who are only driven by their sex drive, who are constantly pursuing these women. And there's no way you can compete with that. If you're looking for a relationship, if you show respect to them, they're just going to see it as a weakness. They're just going to see it as though you want something from them. They're going to treat you as any other guy. They're going to treat you as a creep. And that is why in the end, these women settle for guys they don't really want. They settle for less than what they think they deserve. But their eyes are always wondering. They have a tendency to look at and have sexual thoughts about other men while they're already in a relationship. They never find what they're looking for. They never find satisfaction. And most of them end up alone. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching.narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.